Oh, you are catching me when I'm undoing my tie. I'm just back from a meeting with the marketing manager for one of my customer and we talked about his new marketing campaign and uh, in this um, discussion he gave me the planning of his project he wants the next campaign we are in Switzerland launching a new campaign for a chocolate bar because we are producing chocolates in Switzerland and he wants to do it in a project way. That is to say that I told him he should plan, define the tasks and do the planning of the, the project. At the end of the meeting he said okay I'm going to give you all this and he gave me an Excel file. So I was a bit surprised I expected him to give me an MS project file but anyway we are going to see how we import this into MS project. I'm Christian from Vision 6D and that's it. This is the file I received from the marketing manager. As you, you see, uh, we have the different tasks. Uh, what is really good is that there is an estimation of the duration, which I really appreciate. And he also added what he thought, whether it's the department marketing or IT, or even they are going to have external resources. It's a campaign in which they do a video, so there will also be a community manager, videographers to, to do the video, and of course some marketing consultants. They've numbered the task, and uh, this is giving us a WBS uh, division. Now, to go into MS Project, I go on New, and here we see that I can open a new project from an Excel worksheet. So, we'll see. And here I'm in the folder where I should find my Excel file, and you see I don't see it because it's looking for an XML format. So, I'm going here down and change this to XLSX. And here my file is showing up. So I double click on it. It's coming, it's opening the import wizard. And there I'm going simply to say next. Here the map. The map is how to have the fields from Excel match fields in project. So I could have an existing map, but here I'm using a new map. And I will create a new project out of this, or as you see, you could open this to an existing one. And it's going to ask me, do you want to import tasks, resources and assignment? I will import tasks. And here you see, it will ask me what's the worksheet. So I'm going here down and I'm selecting it's on sheet one where I have this. And as you see here, it was able to match certain fields. So here I have the fields of the Excel file and here I have the corresponding fields of the MS project file. So the numbering, the WBS numbering was found. It found WBS tasks. It's unable to define which one. So I'm simply going here and you see that I have the list and in MS project tasks what will correspond to the task name. So I could simply key in N and get name. And you see here that resources, I will go and select also resources and I will say that these are resources names. For this, I have now the mapping of my corresponding fields. And it's this map that could be saved for further usage, for example. So I'm going here on Next. And you see here, I'm not going to do it, but I could save the map and use it in the future. Let's see now what happens. What do you think? So, 
here it's really interesting you see that we have the list of all our tasks that are here we've imported really well the duration so this is really good when the teams are performing their own estimation and you see here i have the different departments defined as resources since i have those resources i have here on the graph directly the duration of the tasks you you see and since one task here was defined as a zero day this is the identification of a milestone you see that here we have the date for the 21 of the 1st January so this is the way you import uh, into MS project from an Excel file let's have a look at the resource sheet and we see here that our three defined resources were mapped of course now we would have to extend this to change this by functions or by name of the resources and this should be changed or converted into groups here that we see whether it's the marketing department IT or an external resource one last thing that I want to show you it's that you might have noticed that we didn't see WBS so we don't know whether it was imported or not so I'm coming here in the beginning and I'm inserting a column and I'm looking for WBS and now I'm going to insert it and it has become visible meaning that every field that we had mapped were really imported into the Excel file. With that, you've seen how we import easily Excel files into MS Project. You have any question, don't hesitate, ask. I'm really glad when I get some feedback. You liked, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, there will be many more and I'm really happy to have met you. See you soon. Bye-bye.